Netflix will kick off fourth quarter earnings season in the U.S. tech sector this week. Revenue is expected to rise by 28% to $4.21 billion, but net income is projected to drop from $0.41 cents a year ago down to $0.24. Cents. And operating margin is also seen falling. That's because of its heavy spending on content, which is estimated to come in at $13 billion in 2018. And the pressure to invest in top quality content Content means increased reliance on debt finance. In terms of its subscriber numbers, Netflix is expected to see an increase of 9.2 million new subscribers in Q4. If so, then 2018 will become a record year for subscriptions. So the logic goes, as long as more people keep signing up, then costs and debt aren't problematic. But with increasing competition from the likes of Disney and Apple, upping their clout in the streaming space does Netflix still hold the crown for content or is it just a house of cards? Let's check in on the chart now because we can see here from the daily picture there was this acceleration in recent years to all-time highs seen last summer. We're now more than 20% below that peak. There was a rapid sell-off in Q4 across the market, but this year has started off on a very positive note. From the trough on the 27th of December, shares in Netflix have gained more than 40%. Last week, the shares got an extra boost from a broker upgrade from UBS raising the price target by $10 to $410 a share, the bank pointing to its long-term secular winning status. Now, in terms of key levels on the downside, look out for 271.40 for support and 376 for resistance on the upside. For more videos like these, subscribe to our YouTube channel, IGUK, and follow us on Twitter, at IGTV.